Previously on OHM Reports. We visited the biggest and best music festival in Shropshire, Ozfest. Things got crazy with Goldie looking chain and we spoke to rapper turned singer Example. Hey what's happening housemates, my name's Claire Curran and this is OHM Reports. Ozfest is all about supporting music from pop to rock. Joining me backstage at Ozfest now, I've got Parade. Hello. Hello. So if we start from this end, uh, give us an introduction. Hi, I'm Shan. Hi, I'm Emily. Hello, I'm Bianca. I'm Lauren. I'm Jessica. And it's lovely to meet you girls. It's your first year at Ozfest, isn't it? So what, what can we expect from you? Oh, um, lots of fun. Um, a bit of a, a well, highly choreographed set. Oh, brilliant. Um, we're doing our first which was louder and our new single perfume which is at June the 20th. It's really kind of street dance so it's really right. kind of um we think it's quite original you know but obviously yeah. we've worked with a couple of choreographers um from a dance troupe called Status and um they've kind of created this kind of dance style for us so yeah. it's great and it's all just about like having a fun it's all for like the girls and like the youth that just want to have a good time and be loud and everything and, and like it and it top got top 10, 10. Really? so we're very happy and we can't wait for the second single which comes out the 20th of June yeah. perfume, perfume, perfume. Missing Andy hi guys how are you doing Hello. yeah not bad thank you we love performing so uh, it's just nice to be an outdoor the sun seems to be holding out at the moment so it's yeah. all good we have a lot of fun when we go on stage and it's a very it's, it's, it's a like massive explosion of energy when we get on there we really yeah. enjoy it and great songs you know, people enjoy it. It's, all, it's always always very good, our shows. It's JK, Elemento. I'm Nick. I'm Pierce. I'm Elliot. I'm Carl. I'm Danny. <laughs> so. Are you um, signed or unsigned at the minute? Uh, we're unsigned, really. We just okay. release everything on our on our own. OK, so have you got any releases out at the minute? Yeah, we've got uh, an EP. It's our second EP yeah. called The Race. Uh, it's on iTunes, Amazon, um, Play.com, Play .com, everywhere, so everywhere yeah. Yeah. obviously, obviously gigs as well. If we can get noticed and get signed, you know, it would be amazing. But you know, we enjoy playing so much that you know, it's we'll still carry on anyway. TTB the Trinity Band. <laughs> Now, you guys and I have something in common, live and unsigned. Um, we're in the grand finals now. Yes. Um, we, we've got through the uh, area finals, regional finals of the Birmingham and Midlands final, yes. which was um, Birmingham NEC and also Corn Exchange in Bedford. Going to the O2 Arena So we've got O2 in Arena in July 23rd, and obviously we've got the opportunity to do the Ozfest today, yeah. which is a huge, huge deal for us. You've got um, acts on there like N-Dubs as well and Timchi Strider. So how do you feel about performing well, with them? Well, you know what? When I looked at it, like I'm, I'm, into, I'm into all sorts of different types of music. So yeah, N Dubs, huge band. You got Roll Deep, but you got people like the Hoosiers, which I love as well. Oh, and like, yeah. so it's like it's a good eclectic mix of great bands and great artists. So to be even on the same name and our name on the same bill as them yeah. is incredible. Well, I think they can expect some something called Trinitronic. It's basically our sound. It's like a live music and a, a clash with electronic music. Um, energy as well. Like we've got a lot of energy on stage. Like you're gonna see, you're gonna see Craig pumping the keys. You're gonna see James on the drums and the Pete on the <laughs> bass. Yo, it's, it's, it's good. It's like we try and keep the energy. We're trying to get as many people in the audience to feel what we're feeling and connect with us as well. And put the tees. What it is? You got to put your tees like this, yeah. And it's called. It's basically, that's our Trini uh, Trinity sign, yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll all put our tees up now. Tees up. <laughs> Ad and Dwayne from the Chaos. Oh yeah, you're all right, yeah. You've just done your set, main stage, yeah, yeah, really good. energetic. How did you find it? The people were great. I loved every single fan of ours that come down to watch us, and it was great. They all singing us words, loving it, weren't they? We've been trying to get you on our house for quite some time now. Yeah. I've so been. when are we going to do it? When are you going to come to our house? We've got a debut single out on the sixth of June. Right. Called I Have Been Waiting. Yeah. So I'm distributed by Universal. We've got we've got the video going all all over MTV tomorrow and oh, the next brilliant. two weeks. So we will have come over to yours and yes. have a bit of a chat with you. And yes, it? you can do an acoustic we'll do for that us. I'll do that for you as well. <laughs> yeah, we've been recording at the, um, the Sawmills recording studio in Cornwall, where um, Definitely Maybe was recorded. Oh, yeah. You know, um, news have been there, Robert Plant, Stone Roses. So we thought we'd, we'd book that place in. We're going to complete the album. Um, and then we've got the album coming out in November, isn't it? But the 6th of June for the yeah. camera. The 6th of June, right, we're going to be recording. We've got our debut single come out called I Have Been Waiting. 
Fucking have it. I caught up with Carly Jackson, the event manager of Ozfest. Oh, the last time we met was at Live and Unsigned. It was, yeah. Seems like such a long time ago when we were know. talking about Ozfest and it's finally here. It's arrived. How's Nearly it going? Over. Yeah, really, really well actually. Yeah, yeah. all is going to plan, which yeah. is great. Yeah. I did take time out before, I had a nice listen to Paradise Point. Yeah. And I did sort of sit back and sort of, you have to, you have to take it in, you know. Yeah, yeah. And now that it's coming to an end, um, I've asked you earlier on, if if you're going to start planning for the next one have I you got know. any ideas yet of how that's going to go I know <laughs> I mean it's just you know we've just got to think bigger and bigger each year really yeah. so who knows yeah. who knows who will have next year GLC I had to you know kick them out of the dressing room last night because yeah. I needed some sleep so, <laughs> <laughs> so they were fine yeah, yeah they're great boys they were, and they want to come back next yes. year again I think they're going to be our resident band yeah. at Ozfest they seem to really really enjoy yeah, it when I spoke to them yeah. <laughs> I've had a fantastic experience so yeah. for the people that haven't made it this year how would you sell next year's to them i'd just say hopefully again we'll have some good weather yeah. you know amazing acts something yeah. for everyone yeah. someone you know something for all different ages as well which i think is the crucial thing and also keeping it affordable you yeah. know oh, you yeah, know we always absolutely. want to be affordable and we bumped into a familiar face lucy spraggan and it's day two of Ozfest. I'm extremely hungover, and so is Lucy Spraggan. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I've just performed like this as well, shaking in a tent. Like, I've just come out of my tent shaking on stage. But you've got your hair of the dog there. How are you feeling now? Is oh, it? I didn't even realise this was there. That's from, from last night. So you've just performed today at Ozfest. Yeah. How did it go? It went amazing. I got such a good crowd reaction, and with the catchy, like, the catchier songs, I had the audience singing the songs. It was amazing. Viewers of our house will have already seen you on our site, singing your Facebook song um, because you won live and unsigned you through to the final at the O2 Arena that's in yeah. July yeah. how excited are you for that? I'm so excited It's a bit, it will be the biggest venue I've played obviously it's at the O2 um, July 23rd come down Yeah. Um, there's some amazing bands there and it's just an experience yeah. that I won't, probably won't ever get again and everything's really kind of taking off for you now isn't yeah, it? yeah I mean it is yeah but it's doing it quick like really quickly so it's just it's just I, I don't see it happening but I think yeah. it is I don't know really. so what do you want to do are you going to be working on an album uh, I'm currently working um, on an album at the moment which should be done in the next month or two um, I'm free to download online so. what a wonderful weekend we had thank you Ozfest and if you enjoyed our coverage, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, it's www.facebook.com slash Our House Official. And follow us on Twitter, it's Our House TV UK. Or follow me on Twitter, at Our House Claire. Ozfest, you were wonderful. Viewers, you've been wonderful. Acts, you've been wonderful. This has been OHM Reports. Thanks for watching.
Basically you could knock me off